everyone welcome back um i'm just gonna start off by saying i'm sorry it took me so long to post another video i've been sick for the last few weeks like right before new year's and then all through new year's <laughs> great way to start 2023 right <laughs> and then yeah last week i thought i was feeling better but i just wasn't so yeah unfortunately i've been sick for the last few weeks so I haven't been able to do a voiceover or anything, but I'm glad to be back, and Happy New Year, Happy 2023. <laughs> um, I hope your New Year's is going better than mine has started, but um, yeah, anyway, so today we're not doing like a build build, like I didn't build this, I'm just renovating a build that was already there. Um, this is from the Snowy Escape Pack, it's in the world of Mount Kamarebi, it's um, it's that house lot that's like right at the bottom of the map. Um, there's like the big mansion and then there's like a rental and then there's like the, an empty lot and then there's this house. Um, I think it's called like 243. You'll see like the name of it at the top during the speed build. I'm not sure exactly the name. I know it's like numbers. I could kind of see it, but not really. I don't really, I can't really read the name, but anyway, yeah, so I'm just renovating this house. I actually, um, if you remember, if you guys have seen the video a couple weeks ago before I got sick and everything, um, before my Santa's workshop video, I did a video called Cabin in the Woods, and I had this storyline of a guy, a sim that lived there, and he was kind of like a traveler and a fisher, a fisherman and everything like so if you watch that video you'll you'll see that storyline I went with but um I also went with that he had a daughter or a son I didn't choose in that video yet but in this video it's a daughter um that he's kind of like estranged from like they don't have the best relationship and she has a child so he has like a a granddaughter or grandson I don't remember what I ended up having in my game if it was a, a granddaughter or grandson I think it was a grandson because I did create the sims in my save files so that this storyline like I had them in my houses um for like my sake <laughs> but um you could create whatever you want but yeah um I had it where him and his daughter were very estranged they don't have like a very good relationship but he absolutely adores his grandchild and like that's his world and and like they're just he's so like in love with his grandchild but his daughter uh him and his daughter do don't have the best relationship so um in the cabin in the woods I uh just did like a little swing set and like a little outdoor um tent and everything that like maybe like the grandchild comes over and visits and they go camping out on the deck and you know there's just like a little swing set but they don't stay the night because I didn't create like any child bedroom in that build so that's just kind of like where the storyline went in my head for that one so this build today is the daughter's house with her wife and their child the, the toddler his grand I'm pretty sure it's a grandson I think I built um I think it was a boys room so yeah um oh yeah as you can see I'm starting to build this is the upstairs I did I kind of jumped around this build a little bit I started with the upstairs and then I didn't know what to do for the other room so I went back downstairs and then I came back up so it kind of jumps around a little bit but yeah as you can see yeah I did like um there's like dinosaur wallpaper or whatever so I had like the the grandson like maybe is like very into dinosaurs and I put a cat in this build like my family has a cat so his room is like dinosaurs and cats I don't I don't know that's just like <laughs> where I went with it but um but yeah so this is the cabin in the woods guy his daughter's house they live that he lives that house I built was also in Mount Kamarebi it's the um lot all the way at the top of the mountain like had all like the trees and stuff it was just kind of like an empty lot so I built that there so I wanted to build his daughter's house in the same world but like all the way at the bottom of the map like they are they live as far apart as they can because she just doesn't get along with her father um I don't know the backstory of that I didn't like go that far into detail like maybe something happened they had a falling out and they just you know they're just not their relationship isn't doing well right now but yeah so 
so yeah this is um this is their house um it's two bedrooms upstairs and then there's like a little office slash like playroom for the kid I did so that's upstairs and then downstairs um because I built an upstairs this lot originally did not have an upstairs it only had one level so I built the upstairs and then downstairs I left the layout it's exactly the same as it was I just opened up the floor plan a little bit um but when you walk in, the kitchen's still there, and there's, like, a little dining area, and then you just walk through, and it's, like, a living room in the back, and that bathroom, I didn't change really at all, I left, like, the toilet separate and everything, so I didn't really change the layout at all, like I said, I just added the upstairs, and I added a few things out in the backyard, and that's really it, I didn't, I didn't change this build drastically, um, like, as far as layout size, I did change colors and stuff, but I, I tried to keep it, pretty like sim simple like I didn't go too crazy um but yeah here we're just doing the toddler bedroom um I like that wallpaper like I like the one with the little dinosaurs on it I think it's really cute and I like the color like it's like that nice little yellowy orange color so I try to stick that with the bed and there is just like a little bathroom off the toddler bedroom and I put a little tub in there and I ended up deleting the sink as you just saw and I just moved the little toddler toilet seat over because I was afraid they wouldn't be able to use it with the door and I figured that as a toddler right now they don't really need a sink in there so they really only need like a tub to give like the kid a bath and like the toilet so I figured maybe once the kid gets older instead of the tub you could delete that add a shower and a sink back in and a regular toilet and it should all fit in there um, once you get rid of the tub, you could just put one of those little showers from, um, I think it's like Discover University and I forget the other, oh, maybe, oh, I think it's Snowy Escape has the other, like the little shower that you could put like one tile. So yeah, I just figured it's like good enough for now. Like you don't really need a sink in there cause it's for the toddler, but eventually if you use this build, you could just change it if, if you have a kid in here and they get older. But yeah, as you just saw, I talked through it. That was the toddler room. I just added a little bit of like, like the cute little toddler bed. I think that one's from Eco Lifestyle and just like a little play thing, um, a toy chest and just like a little stuffed animal. And I didn't really add too much in there in a little bookcase. Um, I, the build is pretty small. Like the rooms are kind of small. So I didn't like stick too much in there because I didn't want it to be overly cluttered. So I kept these rooms pretty pretty basic like I didn't add too much but here we're moving on to the parents bedroom so like I said this is the cabin in the woods this is his daughter and her wife that live here so you know the bedroom's very pink and I added like that I really really like that wallpaper with like the roses on it I just think that's really like pretty and it's kind of like it's a little fancy but like I don't know not like over the top but it's just cute and the colors match and this bed color um I don't know where I got that bed from I can't remember but that bed like the comforter on there matches the wallpaper color perfectly and I just thought it was so cute so I just put that in there and those little lamps I think those lamps are from high school back that the colors all just like were perfectly matched so I was like oh that's great like it all just matched so well and then like the brown tones from the wood and the door and everything like it all just kind of came together in the flooring like I just like how the colors all worked in this room. And then I just added some color clutter here, uh, as you can see on like the little end tables. Um, in that corner, like right here, I just stuck like a little hanging clothes thing because the room, like I said, wasn't big enough. And I didn't think I could fit like a like a dresser or wardrobe or anything in there. So I just stuck one of those hanging um, cabinets. I think that's from high school pack too. And then the hanging clothes are from Dream Home Decorator. So I just hung that there so you're sims if you want they could change their clothes by just clicking on that and then I just put some clutter above it from the everyday clutter kit like the little you know jewelry thing and a little makeup kit um so yeah I just that and then some shoe clutter underneath and I just put like a little mirror and I think those trunks at the end of the bed I believe those are from the werewolf pack I want to say and I just love those I think they're so cute and they just look so well at the end of a bed like and I don't know I figured like if if this is like the daughter of like the cabin of the woods guy and like I said he's kind of like a traveler and you know like he has his cabin but he probably goes like my storyline for him was he goes around and he travels the world and goes fishing and like he doesn't really like stay at home that much that's why it's just a cabin in the woods as his home because it's kind of just like his oasis that he goes to when he's like settled for a little while um 
So I added those trunks at the end of the bed because they kind of look a little like maybe his daughter kind of travels a little bit too. Like she kind of got that from her father and maybe before she settled down with her wife and had the kid, like maybe she was a little bit of a traveler too and she kind of went around and explored. So I kind of just stuck the trunks in there to add a little bit more to the storyline. But yeah, that's just kind of (laughs) where I was going with this. I kind of like to have a little bit of a idea in my head of like the sims that live in these houses or like their story because it kind of helps me like build and kind of put the rooms and the house together and kind of give it like personality and a and a a story to go with so yeah sometimes I just build a, a, a lot in the sims or a house or something and I have nothing to go by but most of the time I'll have some sort of idea in my head of okay, this is who lives here, this is their background, like, this is where they came from and where they're going, like, I don't know, I just kind of like having a theme in my head to go with, because it makes it easier to build, because then, you know, all the furniture comes together, and the colors, and the layout, like, it kind of just makes building a little easier in my mind, but I don't know, I know some people just kind of build, and they don't really plan to put any sims, like, they don't have any idea, but that's just how I do it, but yeah, now we're um, moving downstairs. <laughs> um, so this is going to be the kitchen. Um, there's like the kitchen and then to the right is the dieting. And then like I opened up that little hallway. I believe there was a wall there um, leading to the living room. But I just opened that up because I didn't. I wanted it to be sort of open floor plan. But I did want the living room separated still. So I like that there's still a hallway you have to walk down to get to the living room. Um So yeah, I wanted to leave that because I didn't want it to be complete open floor plan, but you know, I wanted it to be enough. Like, like that's why I, I left the hallway because I just thought that was perfect. It's open, but not like totally open. But yeah, here I just, um, I, I just did like a very neutral kitchen. I believe most of the stuff is from the snowy escape pack, like the refrigerator, the stove is from the snowy escape pack and the counters are, um, so yeah, I think I used all that. I, I tried for the most part to stick with a lot of items from the snowy escape pack because that's the world I was building in. I don't, I just, I don't know. I just felt like maybe if you're going to plant, place this lot in that world, then you would probably have all the items. So, so yeah, I, I tried for the most part to stick with a lot of items from that pack. But then again, like I did add some clutter and stuff from like, like, that's from the cottage living, like, the little pot, and, like, those coffee bags in the back, I add those in every, like, every single one of my builds, if I have a coffee, um, if I put, like, a coffee station, uh, they're a debug item, so, um, everybody should have them, but I just love adding those, because it adds a little bit of realistic to, like, the build, like, you know, like, if you're gonna have coffee, you need to put coffee in the coffee pot, so I just like adding those to my builds, and I thought that it was just really cute to fill up the shelves, and then, I love those coffee mugs from the Everyday Clutter Kit. I just, I absolutely just love the items from that kit. I know I say it every time, but they just, every item fits perfect in every build. And I don't know, I'm hoping like if they come out with more kits that they have more useful clutter items in them because that was like the best one they've done. And I know that they just announced they're coming out with like, another kit and another um game pack and I know we're getting infants which I'm super excited for I mean I don't play that much but like I said when I build my builds I like doing kind of like having the sim family that's going to live in the lot in my head so I'm super excited for infants and like if I do build a house and I plant sims in it just for like the theme I'm like super excited to like have a family that maybe has a toddler and then maybe now they'll have an infant instead of going right to having a child. So, you know, you could kind of have that age difference. So I'm just, I'm really actually super excited about the infant pack. I know some people are a little iffy on it and I know some people aren't that excited because maybe they don't do family gameplay. But when I do play in The Sims, I, I do... I do play family gameplay a lot, like, my, my play is, when I play, it's kind of boring, it's kind of like the same storyline, like, you know, I build a family, and they have a couple kids, and they rent, they go, you know, 
they get up in their jobs and everything like it's like the same thing over and over again when I play like I'm kind of boring <laughs> so that's why I kind of just do build videos because my play when I play I'm not I'm not that interesting but I, I'm gonna try to like be a little bit more fun when I play um but yeah, so anyway, I'm <laughs> I'm super excited for that. And then I know we're getting the new kit, which I don't know what it is, but like I saw like the little underwear and, and from what I'm guessing, it's an intimate like type of kit with like underwear and like loungewear and stuff like that. I don't know how excited I am about that. I, I don't know if I would actually get that kit because um, like people were saying, you know, unless they're gonna add into create a sims a category for just underwear like what like people don't usually I I mean I do sometimes with my sims like their sleepwear sometimes I'll make it like an under like a lawn lingerie set maybe but you know I'm kind of hoping what other people have been saying like if they add that category to create a sims and they have like you know an intimate like a like a underwear intimate kind of set section added to create a sims which I don't know if they'll ever do but I think if they do that then maybe the kit would be useful like maybe I would actually get it but other than that I don't know if I would actually use that kit but yeah and then um I know we're getting another game game pack is that what they are I don't I don't know my brain's not working I'm still getting over being sick so excuse me if I call things wrong <laughs> but I know people have been saying and speculating this is all speculation because nothing's been confirmed unless it has since I last like checked because I don't really check that often I just kind of I'm part of like Facebook groups and stuff that are like sims related so that's kind of where I get my news from and and other youtubers that I watch um that's where I get my information from so I'm usually very behind <laughs> on what's going on but yeah, apparently people are speculating that it's going to be a Generations pack, which I'm actually very excited for. Like I said, I play with a family, like when I play, it's like family gameplay. So a Generations pack I think would be amazing and I would definitely get that because I would absolutely use it. So I, I'm, I'm hoping, like everybody else, I'm really, really hoping that it's going to be a Generations pack. Um, And so far what I've seen, it seems like that's kind of where it's going. So I'll keep my fingers crossed and hopefully we'll find out soon when all this is going to get released because I know everybody's been waiting for the infants and everything and I've seen online people are like, oh, it's coming this week, it's coming next week, oh, it's coming early February. So, I mean, I have no idea, but um, I hope it comes soon because I'm super excited and I know we've all been waiting since, uh, has it been November? November is when they announced it or... October? No, I don't know. Whatever. I know we've all been waiting a few months for it to be released, so I'm hoping it comes soon, um, and it'll be here within the next week or early February, because that'll be a lot of fun, and maybe I'll get back to playing a little bit more than just building. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyway, uh, now I'm going to stop rambling, hopefully. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're moving on. As you can see, I talked right over it, but we did the kitchen, and I did the the little dining area in the back. I did one of those little seating um, tables, like with the little cushions and stuff. That's from the Snowy Skate Pack. Um, I put that as the dining table because I just thought it fit perfectly and it looked really good in this build. And I don't know, I just kind of like that that table and that little intimate seating and with the little um, pot that sits on the table, which I didn't add. I don't think in the build screen in the speed build. But in the screenshots, I'm pretty sure at the end, I switched out the plant that's on there for that little pot. Um, but yeah, I just like that. And then now we're in the living room. And like I said, it's pretty simple. I used, like the couches here are from the Snowy Skate Pack. Um, I really like those. I think they're actually really cute. And I love the green color on them. Um, I know it's not like probably people's favorite green, but I just like that olive -y kind of like color. So I just thought it matched really well with like the yellows in this build that I had like all the colors just seem kind of to go together and it's very it's very neutral and very natural is how I see how this like color scheme came together so I really really like it so yeah I just added those it's very simply like decorated and there I just put like a little cat bed because like I said in my sim family I added a sim uh a sim <laughs> I added a cat to the family so I just wanted them to have like a little bed um and then I think upstairs I might have added a cat like climbing thing but now that I think about it I might have forgot 
like one of those cat houses like the one like you know that they could sleep and stuff so um yeah i'm just trying to think but i, I might have forgot one of those so if you do end up playing with this house and you do end up adding a cat or something you might want to just add one of those cat trees or whatever they're called because i thinking about it now I, i'm pretty sure i forgot one <laughs> and i meant to add one because in the beginning if you saw i put one behind the staircase but then i put the dining table there so it would have been blocked so i deleted it and i was gonna move it in the build and then I think I just totally forgot to actually move it. So, so yeah, you might just want to, like, re-add that. But, yeah, that was just it for the living room. I added that. And then I added that little, like, tea station that was downstairs. And I put a little clutter in there. But, yeah, now we're back to moving upstairs. Um, like I said, I jumped around a lot because, I honestly, I didn't know what to put up here. Um, I didn't know what to do with this room. So, it took me a while to kind of figure it out. But then I decided, well, in my game, the daughter is, like, a high is like high up in the business career and then her wife is an artist so I decided to make this room like like a like a mix mash of like her office to do her business work the wife's room to do her artwork and paintings and then like a kid's playroom like where they can like the parent the two like mothers can work together in there and do like their art and their you know their paperwork whatever the business one does and the toddler can be they can have the toddler in the room and he could play in like his little hut or play with his toys and they could watch him while they work sort of thing like I wanted it that way where like you know if they're working but they want to keep an eye on the kid he has his like designated spot in the room so that's why I did it that way so yeah here you'll see like here to the left is like the kids little area I just gave him like the little play hut I think that little play play hut play tent is from seasons I think so yeah I put that in there and then that little toddler toy is from the toddler stuff pack so I just put like those two little things I didn't want this room like I said overly cluttered it's very small but I wanted enough because the kid had like a toy chest and everything in his room so there was enough toys in there so I just added two little things in here just to make it like a little play corner but not overly cluttered um, and then I just decorated the wall. You see, like, I put the little stickers, like, I did the little cat and stuff on the wall and stuff for them. I thought that was cute. And then here is, like, the little easel, and I did a bunch of paintings around the room, because I figured, like, the wife, like, does a lot of painting, and she, like, throws it all over the place and kind of, like, fills the room up with, like, all her paintings. So I did that. And then there's, like, a little desk. I think that desk is from Dream Home Decorator. Um, so I just did that in this corner and with a computer, because I figured, like, the, like, the daughter, the, the cabin guy's daughter who's the business one she could sit there and file her um I don't know file her paperwork or whatever they have to do for the business career um so yeah I, I gave them each their own little designated spot in this room but it's not overly you know it's not too overly cluttered where like you can't move or whatever but it's just enough to give it a little bit of character because I figure like this room is probably where they spend most of their time you know, because, like, the one's very into her, like, work, and the other one's very into painting, so they probably spend most of their day in this room getting stuff done, so I wanted it to have a little bit more personality than the rest of the house, um, but yeah, that's, um, kind of where we're going with that, and then, like, I'll add stuff to that hallway, um, I didn't know what to do in the hallway, so I kind of, like, like, here I added a bookshelf, there's, like, a little seating area by the bookshelf, and then, like, in the hallway, I added, like, just a little shelf, um, I think it's from the Desert Lux kit, and then I put, like, a little poof in the corner, because I couldn't figure out what to put in the corner, which, thinking back now, I should have put the little cat, like, tree thing in the hallway, um, but, of course, I forgot about it, <laughs> so, yeah, maybe you could just delete that, um, Maybe you could just delete that, whatever is in there and just put the little, if you end up having, if you end up downloading this build and you have a family and they have a cat, you could just add it there or you could probably add it up here. Um, it'll be easy enough to just get rid of something small and stick it in that corner. But yeah, um, this is just the upstairs hallway. Like I said, I just added this little seating area because I couldn't think of what to put in this corner. And I really like these chairs from the Snowy Escape. And then I remembered that one of the chairs swatches has this little blanket, like that that nice like fuzzy blanket on it. Um, so I ended up deleting one chair downstairs in the living room and I added it 
down there and then I added one up here because I just think it it's so cute and it adds to that like cozy vibe and I just love when like the items in the game have like that extra little um like accessory added that's like not useful but it just kind of adds to like the room and the theme and the coziness so I just really like that they threw a blanket on that one chair swatch um I just think that was really cute but yeah here I'm just adding like I said that's from the desert Lux kit which was free a while back so I'm hoping most people probably got it when it was free so yeah I just stuck that there and I just added a bunch of clutter to it um and then like I said there I added like just a little poof just to, like sit on the hallway but um but yeah you could just swap that out like I said if you end up getting a cat or maybe if you put a dog in your build and you just want another bed you could just stick it in that corner I figured that's like an easy thing to just kind of swap out um I wish I thought of that when I did this but of course I didn't <laughs> but not a big deal it's, it's not that bad so yeah here I'm just adding some lighting to the house I am um, I have the tool mod so I'm not in live mode but um I was able to just change the color on the lighting to make it a little bit more white than yellow because I don't really like how they're very yellow lighting um but yeah, here I'm just adding a little bit of extra clutter to the outside. Like I just did a little thing. You won't see it in the speed build because um, my recording got cut off and it ended. But in the screenshots at the end, you'll see that I added just like a little toddler slide and all that kind of fun stuff to the backyard, like a little um, uh, to cook food <laughs> grill. I had like a little grill and I think I added like a little seating area. So you won't see it here, but you definitely will see it in the screenshots. Um, but yeah, um, so yeah, I'm just finishing up. This is like the bathroom downstairs. Like I said, I didn't change anything. I added a little bit more um, clutter items. Um, I just moved, like I said, I moved the bathtub over. I moved the sink. I added a little litter box for the cat. And then I just changed some of, like I added a little bit clutter item and stuff. But I didn't really change the bathroom downstairs too much. Um, I didn't add anything else. But yeah, so this is um this is the last room that I'm doing um was the bathroom. Like I said, I didn't change anything crazy. I just added a few things and just changed some colors around and stuff. Um I kind of left it the way it was for the most part. But um yeah, so uh we're getting towards the end of the build now. So I just want to wish everyone a very happy new year again. Um I hope 2023 is great for everyone and I hope it goes really well. Um, I didn't really make any New Year's resolutions, but I do hope to grow my channel a little bit more and, you know, meet some new people on here and, you know, maybe make some friends and, of course, probably, you know, get some more followers and stuff, but it's mostly about, like, meeting you guys and talking to you and seeing what you guys like and maybe I can build that kind of stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just, I'm just gonna focus on growing the channel and, I don't know, just hopefully new things, but yeah, so the screenshots are rolling now, um, I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you guys in the next one, bye! Outside my window Is everything pale and cold Can't seem to pick up my phone It's been ringing all day long Behind these clouds, I know the sun will be